Welcome back to the trail to Mushy the Cowboy Cook. Today we're going to make a wagon wheel pizza. The pizza looks like a wagon wheel. Basically a wagon wheel that's stuffed with pizza toppings. So let's get into the video. Alright for this wagon wheel pizza you probably know I'm wearing something different. Well I am it's, and it's a different day. When I went to film this part of the uh, video, I must have hit record and immediately turned it right back off. So a few days later, I'm making another one. I don't mind eating another, eating on some on another one. It is what it is. All right, for this uh, chuck wagon pizza, what I did was I took crescent rolls and laid them out in a circle and to understand this if you just do it in a sheet pan for instance if my fingers are the point of the crescent roll you just go back and forth like this the point one way and then the next one this way so you can do a straight line or you can do a round circle like this one to do a, um, a round pizza chuck wagon pizza or wa excuse me wagon wheel pizza work on a chuck wagon but this is a stuffed wagon wheel all right so once you laid it out I just bought a jar of pizza sauce kind of dab that on around kind of going in the middle where the pieces meet with Super Bowl coming up this makes a great Super Bowl dish whether you do it in a round style or a straight line and this gives you an opportunity to uh, in case you've got things in your refrigerator to get rid of So with the pizza sauce, I've got some pepperoni. I just cut it in half. Put some out. As much or as little as you want. In fact, you could do a couple of them and do different fillings in them. Just like a, a pizza, you know, vegetable pizza meat lovers, a Hawaiian one, whatever flavors the crowd likes, especially if you're doing it for Super Bowl. I've got some mushrooms, fresh or canned, these are just some canned ones. Real quick to put together, once you've laid out your dough, I, and then it's a, a quick bake, 350 for 12, 15 minutes. I've got some cooked up ground sausage, put a little bit of that in there. In fact, this would be kind of fun doing different types for a, especially a Super Bowl party. Got a little cheese here. It's just some mild cheddar. I know lots of times you've got you'll get you've got bag shredded cheese. You'll get down to just a little bit left in the bag. Perfect opportunity to throw that little bit in. I've got a mixture of hamburger and Italian sausage here. Left over some recipes. And um, cause sometimes I'll, I might cook a pound of each because that's how it comes in the pack. But only use half a pound for something. So I'll just bag it up and use it later. And then here's some 
Mexican shredded cheese. Like I said, once you got your dough laid out, it is it goes pretty quickly throwing your toppings in. Little Italian seasoning. Little garlic. There you have it. Then all you do is start folding in. Now if you're going down a line like this, try and fold in the, the fat end and then the skinny end, flip that over top as best as you can. And you just go round and round and flip everything up and over. Just kind of see where each each piece is. It one thing you could always do once you're done um, is melt some butter, throw some garlic in it, and brush that over the top. You can put some more seasoning on it if you want to. Just fold everything in. You got a ring. Bake this 350 for 12 15 minutes in a Dutch oven, maybe up to 20 minutes. Um, all your meat is cooked. You're just trying to melt the cheese and cook the uh, crescent roll. So now we'll get back to the original video. Alright, here's our pizza. Let it cool off a few minutes. Sorry about the overhead noise. It started raining, but I've got a roof. And I didn't have to cancel filming. I can finish up what I'm doing. Nice and done on the bottom. I cooked it about 20 minutes. What I did after uh, right about 15 minutes pulled off pulled it off and kept the top heat on so I could crisp up the top mm. Mm. <laughs> Still hot. Sacrifices I make for you guys, for you men and women, but I do what I can. Very good. Give it a try. It's not hard to make. If you're unsure about making it in a round circle, which is a little bit harder. I would just get a cookie sheet and do it out like that and like I said the uh, 
your first one, say the wide end is on this side, the next one, the narrowed end will be on will uh, be the opposite. So you're gonna have on looking down one side, wide, narrow, wide, narrow. So just flip them back and forth all the way down. You're doing it in a row and, and that's what I did in the circle. Give it a try. This this makes a nice little uh, uh, Super Bowl dish. Super Bowl is right around the corner. And um, here's another idea for Super Bowl Sunday. Alright, well I hope you enjoyed that video on the Chuck Wagon Pizza. Give it a try. Put it in, in anything that you like. Um, you could even do it on your gas grill. Because typically a gas grill does have a thermometer. Get up to that temperature and try it in there. Um, Chuck Way, in my opinion, for me, Chuck Wagon season starts in March. And I'm excited to start 2023 uh, Chuck Wagon season at the Lodge Outlet in Concord, North Carolina on March 4th. Come out and see me and try some chili. March 17th and, or 18th and 19th, Southern Farm Days in Lake Waccamaw, South Carolina, southeast corner, uh, southeast part of the North Carolina. $10 get in, gates open 8.30 Saturday, 10 a.m. Sunday. Right across from us will be cowboys and their wives dressed up as saloon girls and they do skits all weekend that is a great show they put on they do different skits every year and um, lots of times you'll see people out there uh, doing some whip tricks and just playing around uh, we really enjoy cooking for them and, and we have a good time with them um, last year and I've got it on a video I'll put it at the end of the um, video. We did an impromptu skit. That was a lot of fun. <clears throat> March 24th, 25th, 24th is a Friday. I'll be there by myself. I'm going down to cook for uh, some of my friends at the second annual Farm Heritage Day. And that's at the Lee County Fairgrounds in Sanford, North Carolina. Free to park, free to get in. And then on Saturday, Mosey will be bringing his wagon down and we'll be cooking off of that. So any of those events, if you live close by, come out and see us. Say hello. We'd love to uh, see you. But more importantly, like the two shows, come out to the show, walk around, you'll have a good time. If you like videos like this, please subscribe. Remember my affiliate link. Remember I'm going for a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours. I need that by beginning of July. Share it with friend. Share it with friends. More than just one friend. Like it. And of course, ring the bell and mushy the cowboy cook. We'll see you down the trail.